Like, he doesn't block anything to her. You know, he doesn't, like, stop her. He doesn't, like... Yeah, but he still has the ulti and the passive to tempo yeah, he's, the... Yeah, he's he's good against Orn, But we have missed it's... Diana Yasuo. I, did, yeah. I, I don't think I have seen Jax. Jax still maybe choose to fight it. Bren has no flash. Jax has the option to take this fight later now. If Kaisa is coming mid. Kaisa is opening mid. Maybe they'll look for a late fight. Yeah, uh, if they, they take this... I guess they're just done by, by the time. If they take this top... If they oh, take this again, top... top? Oh, he's dead. Well played. Come on, give it a little. Well played. Oh, first one. oh my God, the Antonio with the EQ combo. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, maybe fight two v two in the jungle. Like right. Johan is going really. Right aggressive. now with Corky being zero mana, I feel like this whole map's oh. control is in control. Hey, can he just go frame here? Probably. Oh, Azul. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good, yeah. uh, it was. Nice, it, it, it looked like a bit nice, like a combo nice. that I would do at my age, you know. But uh, nice. nice wind wall blocks the spells. That was, and that was GX just is well clean. Played. That was just well played. Yeah, oh, but Trippy's coming. Flash! Oh, oh flash you! Oh, Corky gets a kill with the rocket. No, he doesn't. No, oh, wait, Corky is dead. Wait, Corky is Corky's Corky trolling. Is, Corky is yeah, trolling. Oh. oh my god, Corky just flashed in. No, wait, he's not trolling? Oh my god, he's not trolling. He's <laughs> <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> nice try. Nice try by Yasuo getting out. <laughs> 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 man, casting is really hard when you're like... Whatsoever. And right now, GX, I think, overreached a little bit by going for that fight instead of holding on for this river control that they had and holding the Drake because the game state was really good for him, but now we have a fight in the Gank. top lane. Gank? This happens see, on top lane when you're like suffering from success a bit too much, the ganking is happening. But what is Wonder doing? Is this going to be the one too? Wonder going to... No, no he's way. not going. Oh my god, it I was can't really, focus. It was, it was really optimistic, but... I wish okay, go ahead, Thank guys. you guys for watching. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, that was a great start. Welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a really good start of the cast. Perks? Yeah, Perks is something else. <laughs> Perks yeah. is something else, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, God. All right, well. Dive here, though. Thanks to the three of them. Yeah, let's set it up again. Apparently, we have newfound respect as the setup there for Ignite. He can't move, and he's just dead. And Team Heretics gets something bot. That's nice. Now, I feel like we need to kind of just help summarize what's been going on this item before anyone else in the game right now as well. So with that gap close and level six available, pass that of course is onto Trimby. That might be the first target. The targeting there and the moon will fall indeed, but Juhan gets arrowed up. There's no follow-up with the brand ulti as well. It's going bad for Giant X. Onto Igna, the flash world from Yangos secures the kill. And not only that, Juhan dies to the right of our screen. Another winter's bite, a last breath, because that's all you can fathom oh, right now. But Giant Giant X are choking right now too! Team Heretics ripped them apart and that went from horrible to absolutely devastating for Giant X. The counter engage from Team Heretics is fantastic. I feel like he's Ooh. in one of these bushes here still. Is... He's in the other bush. Okay, Juhan, next yeah. one. Oh, he definitely oh, got spotted. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, dear oh, Lord, TP oh, though, and he's gonna make the play anyway, but the arrow comes out. Giant X just wanna get out of there, but remember they got the Antonio coming from behind, but the wall is up. A searing charge is good, but he has to flash away as well. Giant X, what are we doing? We're crumbling, that's what, but under turret, maybe. The counter engage Ooh, the from damage. Ignar is good as the whirlwind comes through, and Jackie's ulti's been exhausted, that means he does no damage, just, he's just whittled down. Giant X have to run for their lives, because this turret won't be safe anymore. They just got caught with their trousers down again. It's pure chaos in the bottom lane. Everyone is throwing everything in the kitchen sink at each other, and just hoping that something sticks. It is Heretics, though, that finally let the damage land, and now they will be able to turn over towards the dragon. Yeah, it was a huge back and forth with the exhaust coming down onto Yasuo, onto Jackie's ultimate, despite that board completion. Just got a way to go. I mean, Team Heretics already getting damage down thanks to the six grubs. Flacken and Trimby are moving in as well, and some of these arrows have been exceptional. Flacken gears up for another as Trimby on this prom sets up. The combo's Ooh, out, damage. and Antonio gets sent skyward. He's just dead. Beautiful chain CC, and with the Herald out as well, this is going to keep going to the inhibitor turret. But this is also great from Heretics. One yeah. of the big criticisms we had of Heretics was don't wall it into the wall. It was uh, that you're going to end up, <laughs> that, you're, that they end up screwing up their mid game uh, because they aren't decisive. They don't really know where they want to try and achieve things, but this is very much short to come. Really sure to come, rather, as Team Heretics move up towards the top side. There's an outer turret left remaining. Oh, the Antonio the is bot, and that TP is coming from him. They're going to set up for a team fight. Aragon, what have you said? There's the engage with the arrow. Brilliant from Blackard. Wonder goes on in. In the meantime, though, but he's oh, tanking Wonder. it up. He's staying alive. He survived for so long. But now as they look for the Antonio, I'm still in question. I'm still in doubt, and Trimby is going to break it all out. There's the win that comes through eventually, and Team Heretics regain control. Well done again, and I think Blackard deserves respect. Respect. The target select. Flackard, I'm just saying that arrow was brilliant as you. Juhan. Okay, again, why? 
has to get the protobelt out of there. Winter's Bite, fantastic as well. And remember, with this brand, there's no way to go but in. So Johan thinks, well, I'm dead. And either way, nothing happens because of it as Jackie's now chases well. Yankos, he's feeling it. They're not going down. To make sure he was face checking with that Void Seeker, uh, with that W on that Baron. They're very scared of the rush coming down. You can see all that vision control. They don't know if this started up or not. There's another one. Arrow comes through for the team that again this year we've been questioning quite a lot. You can see the bottom of your screen where we get the engage that comes through. The Antonio might be caught out. He flashes away. No bellows breath until now to buffer it out. But the old yeah. edge, the last breath, maybe for Team Heretics if they can pull off this impossible. But no, the AOE, the damage, the explosion. Team Heretics laugh at that engage. They're too damn far ahead. That was so well played by Trimby, managing to block so much of the follow-up coming through from Patrick, being able to get into position and that exhaust down onto Jackie's as soon as the combo landed. It nullified everything and allowed Heretics to turn around with those big old wallets. And it, what it looked like was a fantastic engage from Giant X, but that brand ultimate coming out with the passive procs, the AoE damage is just too much, and we're seeing exactly why this champion is so strong. Man, Baron picked up You got double AoE, heal shields, get you out of dodge. Oh. On that prom as well. Yeah. I think, good. I think the beauty of last game when it came to Giant X was their ability to change the composition as. Johan is dead. Aragon, you may continue your point because that yeah. guy is dead. <laughs> so the way that they adapted was they, they pivoted to Pope Maokai. Yep. And then they could outrange rather than having to rely on pure dive with the Kaiser. Right. And then they had AP Kaiser coming online and that circumvented the need to dive. But I think that might be all she wrote as they, they go into the base here. They haven't got the Kaiser AP win condition online. I mean, this, is a, this was an absolute stomp. As the last Ooh, engage is there, I mean, it's good. It's the last breath. The Orn Horn comes through as well, but the Promolt is up. It denies a lot. Wonder gets knocked up, though, in front of a turret, but still, you wonder, can Team Heretics fall at this point? The Grubs enlarged in charge and ready to go forward with Team Heretics basting down the base, and the Nexus just open season for now. It was the best Shine X could offer, but this game was Team Heretics standing up and saying, we're not done yet. Heretics are gonna push us to the game three. There was just no stopping them on that. GX found some moments to try and make this combo work, but Heretics already knew that they were just too far ahead. Yeah, Heretics are clearly coming in with a game plan, playing these anti-engage compositions. Yep. They know what the side of Giant X want to draft, and they prepared a plan into it. And just gonna see what Giant X come out because they can't play that same kind of composition. No, I think no go back way. to basics, go back to a tank on Juhan, 